Ag Day. The Interstate 29 corridor stretching from South Dakota into Iowa is the hot spot for dairy expansion in the United States. In March of this year, South Dakota replaced Missouri in USDA's top 23 dairy producing states. That list represents 93% of all milk production in the country. But South Dakota is not content just to make a government list. As Ag Day's Michelle Rook tells us, South Dakota wants to be known as a business friendly place for dairy producers and processors alike. Dairy expansion along the Interstate 29 corridor is supported not only by dairy farmers, but another area of the industry wanting to grow, the processing sector. The uh, demand for the products is out there. Our customers want more products, more cheese, more whey. So as we fill up our operations that we've got, um, the only way to grow and, and satisfy that demand is by having more milk in the area, thus more cows. In fact, at times that has created a milk deficit, forcing processors to go far outside the region to procure milk. As far as Colorado, Idaho, uh, Kansas, Texas, um, um, you know, milk flows to where it's needed. Uh, it, costs, it costs to move it, though. And that robust demand for dairy products is projected to grow in the future. The USDA projected that uh, demand for dairy in the U.S. would go up by 30 billion pounds over the next 10 years. We're selling cheese all over the world coming out of South Dakota and it's going to be continue to be a great protein source. As a result, AgriPure, which processes 100 million pounds of cheese a year, is just one of the plants expanding and actively recruiting dairies to buy milk from. I can speak to our plant operation uh, needing 45,000 more cows to satisfy the amount of milk that we want to run in our second plant expansion. The I-29 corridor, with the help of South Dakota Governor Dennis Dugard, is also attracting new processors. The new $144 million Bell Brands cheese plant built here in Brookings, South Dakota is just part of the success story the dairy industry has had in the I-29 corridor. The maker of the famous mini baby bell and laughing cow cheese held their open house this fall. To have them choose South Dakota for a plant like that, the biggest investment in their corporate history is pretty significant. And the economic impact is huge for the state. Wow, you know, you start looking at over 250 employees, a um, $140 million uh, plant, and then you have a $25.6 billion ag industry around it. Uh, it the ripple effects of this are going to continue to evolve. CEO Frederick Nollis says Bell Brands looked at several sites in the U.S., but decided on Brookings due to skilled labor at STSU, tax incentives, and most importantly... The first one was, uh, you know, the uh, milk supply. We needed to have a place where there were some great prospects for, you know, uh, milk, uh, milk supply in the, in the future. He says the national brand needs plenty of milk to make 1.5 million baby bells daily. We are going to require something like 500,000 pounds of milk every day. A Midwest Dairy Association market study suggests plants like Bell Brands are a perfect model for expanding the dairy industry. It's, a, it's about how do we grow the business, but how do we grow it in a way that pays the dairy farmers a competitive price, and that's going to lead us to value-added products across the system. It's something he says current dairy processors are already doing successfully, so there is great potential for the future. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day. Thanks, Michelle. The Midwest Dairy Association study also looked at whether or not the growth in the I-29 corridor could be duplicated in other areas of the country. Kruger says it will require identifying demand in that region, building public support for growth, and creating an environment for dairy farmers to thrive and grow.